Hey guys, this is Math Lesson 123, Equivalent Fractions. Um, it's on page 422 in your book. Um, we have worked with this a good bit, but this so this will kind of be um, a review. Um, here are equivalent fractions um, for one half. Um, one half, two fourths, three sixths four eighths and five tenths. And you see, as they add more lines, it just breaks it into more pieces. Um, but these are equivalent fractions. So example one says, um, the rectangle on the left has three equal parts and two parts are shaded. Two thirds of the figure is shaded. The rectangle on the right has six parts. So how many must be shaded so that the same fraction of the rectangle is shaded? So you would wanna shade in one, two to represent these two, but it would be four pieces, four sixths. So we see that four of the six parts must be shaded. Uh, two thirds is the same as four sixths. So two thirds and four sixths are equivalent fractions. Example two, what equivalent fractions are shown? Two out of one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two eighths is the same as one fourth. And so you see the equivalent fractions here. And then at the bottom, um, it says name the equivalent fractions shown for the practice problems. Um, and then um, C through E are um, where you draw the pictures. Sorry, I'm gonna switch back to the student book. Does that have the answers? And so then um, that is all of lesson um, 123. Just there are the practice problems um, at the bottom if you want to look over those. And then we're gonna skip 124, estimating area. You're welcome to read through it and, and look over that. Um, but I'm going to skip it for right now and go to reducing fractions, um, lesson 125, um, which is on page 430 in your book. Um, when we reduce a fraction, we're, we find an equivalent fraction with smaller numbers. Um, the picture below shows four-sixths reduced to two-thirds. Um, so it's just showing you how to make this even simpler, getting the numbers down to the smallest number possible, they're going to get them down to a prime number. So this is where knowing prime and composite numbers is gonna come in and help you. Um, not all fractions can be reduced. Only a fraction whose top and bottom numbers can be divided by the same number can be reduced. Um, so at least one of your numbers has to be prime. Since the top and bottom numbers of four sixths can be divided by two, we can reduce the fraction four sixths. So I take that back. It, they don't have to be prime numbers, but if they are composite, they have to have the same factor. So that's probably a little more clear, hopefully. So if they're, they either have to be down to the prime numbers, like two and three are both prime numbers, or if they are composite numbers, which these two are composite, but they both share the factor two, that's why they can be reduced. But if they were two composite numbers that didn't share any of the same factors, then um, you would know they were reduced as low as possible. Okay, so let's go on to the next page. To reduce a fraction, we divide the fraction by a name for one. We reduce four sixths by dividing four by two and dividing six by two. So I showed you guys about multiplying um, to get the fraction bigger, but this is how to get it smaller. You divide, so four divided by two is two and six divided by two is three. But what you're doing is dividing, you're actually just dividing by one because two halves is the same as one whole. And so you're not changing the value of this number. When you divide by one, you still get the same, you know, four six divided by one is still four six. But this is just a, 
a reduced way or a simpler way of saying four six. So it, it proves really that these are equal because when you divide by one, you're gonna get the same thing. Um, the, in this case, we just made it two halves instead of one. When deciding, so this is the key right here. <laughs> when deciding if a fraction can be reduced, it is helpful to look at three numbers. The three numbers are the numer numerator, the denominator, and the difference between the numerator and the denominator. So the difference between these is two. The circled numbers are the numerator, the denominator, and the difference. And a reducing name for one must be able to divide all three numbers. So we would take this difference to put it over another two, making two halves, which is one, and then divide four sixths. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying not to sneeze, but I just had to. Um, so if you look at the um, examples, we have six and eight, and the difference between the two is two. So we can try two halves to divide them. So six divided by two is three, eight divided by two is four. And then it shows the picture here, six eighths divided by two halves equals three fourths. And then they show you the picture to show that they're still equal. Okay, B is six ninths, okay? The difference between six and nine is three. So we're gonna try dividing by three thirds, okay? Six can be divided by three, right? Yes, that would be three. Nine, I mean two, I'm sorry, six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. So let's look at it over here. Six-ninths divided by three-thirds equals two-thirds. So it gets that fraction down smaller, but it means the same thing. Each of the these ninths are the same as one-third. Like three, thir three of the ninths equal one-third. All right, and then C was six-sevenths. Well, the difference between six and seven is one. So chances are these are not going to be able to be divided um, any smaller. The numerator, denominator, and difference of six sevenths are seven and six, and then when we get the difference, it's one. So the only number that divides all three of these numbers is one and dividing by one does not reduce the fraction. So here's where I was telling you, like seven is prime, so you know that there's not anything that's gonna be able to make that number smaller, and even though six is not prime, it doesn't share any factors with seven except one, and so one is the only thing that you can divide both of them by. And so it is reduced as low as it will go. So you cannot make this fraction any smaller. Like you could up here, you could make six ninths down to two thirds. Um, you can't make six sevenths any smaller than that. It can't be reduced anymore. So, um, so it's as low as it can go. And that's um, an example of how it was saying not every fraction can be reduced. Um, there are some practice problems down here, um, and if you're interested in this and or if you um, feel like this is a little tricky, this would be a good section to do just to find the difference between the two and see if you can get them to be reduced any lower. And then um, you can pick and choose the, the um, some problems out of the problem set um, 125. Um, to work on, and um, I I said this was going to be, I was thinking this was going to be my last math video, but I may go ahead and make one more um, for the next um, 
lesson just to um, to cover um, dividing by multiples of 10, uh, the second part, because you got the first part, just haven't got the second part. So. Um, so I may see you one more time on math videos. Thanks, guys.